Listen, I was just sitting doing my favorite thing right now during the holidays, and that's watching Hallmark Christmas movies. I tell you, I love it. So I'm there. I don't know when it was, last week or whatever. And I'm They're watching. all the same. They just have different faces. Oh, Deanne, come on now. The girl goes back Hi, home Deanne to take care of something, she meets me her old boyfriend. A couple of those movies. And uh, anyway, so I'm watching the whatever one it was. It doesn't make any difference. No, it does not. They're all the same. But no. anyway, and something happened in, in, the, in the movie, some kind of something. And the lady flip the switch and I said Shabbat <gasps> Shabbat means to flip the switch so yeah. I'll help us to get there because we we study the, the Hebrew calendar of which we have our very own Hebrew calendar of which we have them back at the back, and you can purchase those. We want you to do that. But we have studied the calendar and, and all of these things. And in all of my study of these Hebrew websites and all of that that you have to sort through for real, I never saw Shabbat as flip the switch until that Hallmark movie. <laughs> so it was so great. I jumped up. I put it on pause. I jumped up. I went I wrote it down so that I I wouldn't I wouldn't forget. And so today we're going to talk about how we got there. So on one side of the and you know we always decorate the table according to the characteristics uh, characteristics of, of this particular season of time and not unlike we decorate our homes for Christmas or, or, or some Valentine's or whatever it might be. So it's, it's the same thing. It, it helps us to not only to see but to begin to understand what God is speaking to us. So on this side of the table, I, I couldn't bring in a full-size tree, so I just have a branch from a blossoming uh, tree there, and on the extreme opposite side of the table is a, is a water feature, a, what do you call this thing, the water well. And obviously, we've got the water running. So we have a tree, and we have water. And both of these are characteristics of this particular season of time we're in. In fact, Shabbat 15 is called the holiday of trees. Now, if Lisa was up here, she could tell you in Hebrew what that is. But as I always say, it's kind of a hucker. And to do it in the Hebrew. So I'm just going to say it's a holiday of trees. And one of the reasons is because the earliest blooming trees in Israel start their blooms in this season, real season of uh, time. And it comes on, that comes on the heels of the winter rain. In fact, Shabbat means heavy rain. Heavy rain. So, the remainder of the time that we're going to be here, and it's not going to be very much longer, but the remainder of the time that we're going to be here, if you see something, or you see something on the board, or you Here's something in the remainder of the time that we'll, and you want the Holy Spirit to rain on it, I want you to stand and say, Shabbat! Rain on it! Heavy rain on it! And I'll tell you what rain means 
in just a minute. So Shabbat means heavy rain. So check it out. In Psalm 1-3, listen to what it says. Blessed is the man who walks not, say not. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. His delight is in the word. That's why we read, and many states read, the entire word of God. You can't split that thing up. The entire word of God yesterday. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. That is why they stood in that Supreme Court to stop the ungodliness. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, but his delight. Hey, that's a Shabbat right there. His delight is in the law of the Lord. Then listen what it says. The promise to the one who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, but in the laws of God. And he shall be like a tree planted by the living water that brings forth fruit. In his season, his leaf will not wither. And whatever, whatever, whatever he does will prosper. Hey, Shabbat. Good Lord. That was a good Hallmark movie. I just want to tell you that right now. That was a good one. Whatever he does. Aren't you tired of losing? Come on, let's get real. Aren't you tired of not seeing what you're believing for? And you know it's God. And you know it's his word. Hey, Shabbat. Let heavy rain come down on our faith. So water. Water is the ultimate source of life for the tree. And it'll grow, and it'll bear fruit, and it will eventually provide shade for travelers that are going through. We're talking about in the olden days, and they they find rest, anyone in need. So that water provides that. Say, I am a tree (laughs) planted by the river. So on the other side then of this table is water and you see that it's flowing nonstop. Uh Uh-huh. Nonstop. This month, uh, every month there's a constellation. And the constellation this month is Aquarius which Aquarius means water carrier or a bearer, I guess that's how you would say that, of water. So right here we have a watering can or a, a bucket, I guess you could say. And what comes with Aquarius is this act, this action of of watering, an act of watering, and water from the word is wisdom. Wisdom. So there is a pouring out of wisdom, discernment, ability to finally figure it out and move on it. So Aquarius, the act of watering, a eh? watering referring to wisdom. So this month, we get far above and we look. We look for those that are carrying water and carrying wisdom. We look for those who are bringing that to us. Pitchers of water 
pictures of wisdom. So when you meet, or perhaps you know of a wisdom or water carrier, car, uh, carrier, and today this whole table is a sign. When you see somebody carrying water, carrying wisdom, carrying discernment, carrying simple air, simple, here's, here's just what I want to say. As we start 2022, God is going to use people who are far above. And they're not just far above. I'm not talking about standing on a ladder. I'm talking about far above, seated in a governmental position to release wisdom in the earth. So when you meet somebody like that, when you sit under somebody like that, This whole table and what the ant put on the whiteboard is a sign of blessing, abundance, new life, and the power of believing the word. So we have a watering can on the table because it gets full because the water pours without end. It gets full so it can pour out. So when we come in here or, or you listen to people that you know that they have got water and they're to pour it out on you, you get full so you can pour it out. Shout, pour it out. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, I'm getting filled up. So I can pour it out. So the other thing that's on the table down here is a shofar, a little, a little tiny one. And we have it there almost, really, almost every month, particularly during this year of 5782, because 80, according to the Hebrew way of the years, means voice or mouth, and two means house. And so the shofar represents the year. This is the year for the voice of truth and wisdom. You can know truth. You can know the word, but you got to have wisdom to wield that. So this is the year that so far represents this is the year for the voice of truth and wisdom to come from the house of God. Come from the house of God or come from the house of God. Now this month, I don't think I... Do, is this Asher right here? Okay. So this, there's a tribe that's associated with every month. And so the, the tribe that's associated with this month is Asher. And it means pleasure or happiness. A Asher's mom was very happy. And this son brought, him, brought her pleasure. But really... I kind, of, I kind of looked at it, and I found out, Deanne, that not too many people, or at least it's not in the King James Bible, uh, uh, that, that were a, a part of the tribe of Asher. But there was one lady. <laughs> yeah, and she stayed on the ladder. And that one lady, when I was reading that, scripture about the fulfillment of a prophetic word. Jesus was the prophetic word. There was a lady 
And then it just has this little teeny tiny, these, this little teeny tiny words after the name of this lady. And it just said, her dad was somebody that I can't pronounce from the tribe of Asher. And this lady, the Bible says that she's been a widow for 84 years. And she stayed in the temple and worshiped and praised. She was a widow. She got met. Listen, I, I, I kind of added it up because it said she was married for seven years and then she was probably 15. She might have been 100 years old. She is in that temple. She is worshiping and praising because God told her, you won't leave this earth until you see the fulfillment of the Messiah. And then Jesus goes in there, uh-huh, and he's going to be circumcised, and he's going to go through all the ritual. And Anna, her name is Anna, Anna, is from the tribe of Asher. Now, I could preach all day on that, but I'm going to let that go. Now, then there is a, a uh, Lisa always got us these these stones, there's always a crystal or a stone for every, every month. And the history of that is, if you're familiar with the garments of the high priest in the Old Testament, they would have what they called a breastplate or an ephod, and it had a stone for every tribe. It was, it was beautiful. You can look it up there. They're all the amazing stones that we have had uh, up here. And so the stone for, and they, they were all on the breastplate of the uh, priest. And so the stone is called a citron court or peridot. And as I studied this, I saw... And there, there are a, a, lots of different history and thoughts on this, but just this one particular uh, website where I went said that the peridot or the citron crystal was the second stone mentioned in the priest's uh, breastplate. And so check it out. So there's, uh, with all these kind of, kind of things, there's always some, some folklore, say folklore, folklore with, with it. And what that means is it, it may not be true, but it might be true, but it is a belief or a, um, a tradition that's passed down. <laughs> so just, just check it out. The second stone on the breastplate of the high priest was a stone that if you wore it, and if you overlaid it, in, remember this, in gold. And this ring is a very expensive ring that Dawn Ward gave me a long, long time ago. And so, and this is citron, this is peridot. But the folklore is this. If it is set in a setting of gold, come up here, Deanne. Here's what it said. Let me make sure I got this. <laughs> this is, oh my gosh. All right. It was said that it would run the devils off. No, oh, I just say, get out of here. Not today, devil. I am far above principalities and powers. So peridot, or 
citron. It's a, it's a lot of, it's all of those colors. It's all of these colors. It can be, as, as Lisa has told us, all these crystals really can be different uh, colors, but we just chose these because it's lime green is our favorite color. But the last thing, don't you just love that? We are far above that thing, and the high priest wore it. They wore it. And we wear Christ. He said, put it on. So the last thing on this table is flip the switch. Say this with me. I need an aha moment. I need to see something change. I want to have a greater understanding of the Word of God. I really want to understand the Word of faith. And I want to flip the switch as we move forward in this month of Shabbat let the rain flow flow. in Jesus name name. put your hands together and thank God for his word